So at the higher levels, for me, when I look at the situation, let's say, for example, Rafa Nadal, Novak Djokovic, Andy Murray, Roger Federer, the match is, from, 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 from an opposition standpoint, the match is already lost before they step on the court because of their bowing. That's one of the things that I always tell my students is the attitude. That when you're on the court, you're, you are trained to be ruthless. I don't really care who's across you. It's just a mindset. Because there's a reason why you are where you are. I'm very sorry to inform all of you that as you move up, get to higher levels, there, there isn't a handicap system here. You know what, you're a nice person, let me give you uh, a free path to the, the main draw. Uh, not in tennis, or not in professional sports. Every step of the way, you're having to earn so-called credibility. Who you are, your identity. So when you play against somebody who's had tremendous success, Supposedly they're better than you. For me, the mindset needs to be, they can play, you're there for a reason, you can play too. Of course, you might have the utmost respect, that's fine. But guess what? The match has started at 0-0. They can play, you can play, let's freaking play. Forgive me for my language. We go head on head. So. One of the things I always tell my students is, if they can do, you're taught to do too. So let's see who can do more of it.